like we should call the band. And I came up with like probably one of the most terrible band names in history at the time. And uh, that's what we used. Um, and we played like what a variety of like classic rock. And I think we played a couple of his originals. He, he had some instrumentals he yes. played. Um, and for those who are curious, the uh, band name, I don't think you even know what it was. It's, it's really terrible. Uh, we called ourselves Eating Tiffany, which is just, it's horrible. So after after we played that gig, we, we were all like, we can't be Eating Tiffany. This is awful. Um, so we did one of those things where, you know, come up with three names. Everybody come up with three names. Me, Sam, and Mike, and Marvin. Oh, no. You're jumping. What, what do we do? Huh? What, what do I jump? I'm not going to say anything. Uh, we'll let Sam the band practice right now. All right. Now. Well, anyhow, we, go ahead, go ahead. we put the names, you know, in a hat. He came up with the Heldermice because he's a fisherman. And Excellent name. We, and when, we, when we heard it, we all were like, why, why even do this hat thing? Because that's the coolest that's damn name. That's, that's it. That's the coolest damn name. So we picked it. They were impressed with the hell part. Well, yeah, yeah. For a long time, we we made it's really anti-punk, but I, I I made business cards, right? So I printed them myself, and I did them like fortune cookies, where um, you know you'll get a, a business card, and it'll say your name, your company name, and maybe a little slogan. Well, the fortune cookie part of the cards was there's 15 different slogans. So the idea was you were going to collect all our business cards, right, to get all the slogans. So I'd have slogans like, you know, the Helper Mites, you know, relive bad childhood memories, stuff like that. Um, your, your lucky numbers are blah, 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 just nonsense stuff. And I, I, I thought it was funny at the time, but anyhow, we... My favorite was uh, the Helper Mites, because we've got hell in our name. Yes. <laughs> that was the best one. I, I kept that one. And we'd have people come up to us. We'd play somewhere and ask, well, what's a Gramite? Like, we put hell in front of Gramite, and a Gramite was something. And we were, like, looking at them, like, what, what are you talking about? What's a Gramite? I, I don't know what a Gramite I is. Right. <laughs> they just tell them it's an ugly bug that catches fish. You, you can catch, put it on the end. Yeah, and they're terrifying. So it, it, it made, oh, it'll bite the heck out of you. It made the perfect band name. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's creepy. It's neat. Mm -hmm. So going on to Mike, say yes. full name, last name, where you live, and how long you've been playing with the band. So I'm Mike Wilkins. I live in Frederick, Maryland. Um, this is my uh, my second time with the Helger Mites. Um, I was in a, uh, a local Frederick band for a while, and uh, that band broke up. About the same time that who was that? Uh, uh, that was the uh, Loudmouth Underdogs, and um, we used to play some gigs with the Heldermites back in the day. And it was about the time that that band broke up that um, Adam had to go to Germany for a while for work, and it just kind of worked out that I was homeless and they were homeless, and uh, so I kind of filled in for Adam while, while he was gone. I want to say real quick, just. Marvin Kennedy loved Marvin, and he was actually the first interview I did. Mm, I mean, I, it was a long time ago. I, I know you know he's sick. Yeah. And, yeah. So it's difficult to see him, you know, uh, but just a great interview, fantastic time. Uh, Dominant Life Form played the shows back in 1989, 1990 yeah. with the Voodoo Love Gods. So, Mike, I want to start with you. Um, Brian Sefcik, the leader of the Voodoo Love Gods, he's 62, right? So one of the things that have been real fascinating to me is where does this love of punk rock, alternative, unusual music begin for you? And why is it part of your life for all of this time? What is it about this creative thing that stays with you? And that's going to go to each one of you. All right, I am going to say something that has been contrary or it's a little bit counter to my fellow bandmates, okay? Say it. <laughs> Say it. I love it. I don't love it. Okay, when I first started, when I first started playing music, you know, I did not like punk. Okay?
okay? okay. I'll tell you that. I, it was something that I grew to love, okay? Um, when I first played, I played uh, hard rock, heavy metal, all that kind of stuff, because it was easier for me to learn, okay? Uh, my first experience with a pop, a uh, punk band was, um, I used to work at the, a place in Bethesda called the Psychedelic. Uh, back in the 40s, 70s? <laughs> uh, late 70s. Right after Late the war. 70s, early 80s. Okay? And I was working the door, and uh, this guy says, Okay, Mike, we're going to have a punk band come in. And they used to have like bluegrass and, um, and stuff. Okay, who is it? The Cramps. So they came and they played. Okay? I didn't understand it because there was no bass player. Okay? It was the first show that I, I'm trying to be the bouncer there, and I'm watching, and it's the first time these guys got up in the middle of their set, they started running around, and it looked like a tornado sort of happened, and the next thing you know, they picked up the chairs and started breaking them. That's the first time I've seen stuff like that. I was like, wow. I don't know about that, man. That, that was a little bit deep, you know, and the manager was like, you know, we're not having them back again. So, I, I, uh, let's go a little bit back, in, uh, a little bit forward in time, and to when I'm playing with Adam, and we started playing, and we were playing over at his place, and I remember we were trying to get the new drummer, just prior to getting Sam, uh, our current drummer. And Adam would make a comment, you know, gosh, man, it's so hard playing this other stuff and this comp. So why don't we just play punk? And I'm going, let's play punk? You sure you want us to play, you know? Sam has, like, been playing punk for a long time. Adam knew about it. I didn't know anything about it. So I was, like, kind of, um, you know, kind of a little bit nervous about it picking up something and, and, and playing something that um, I didn't quite know, okay? Uh, so they're playing, the, he's playing the, uh, the guitar, Sam's playing the drums, and I'm just trying to find some place that fits in. Uh, actually, now, I've been playing it, though I did not quite consider the stuff that we were playing with the Helgerites to be punk. To me, it's just music that the bunch of us get together and we play. Other people have been called, oh, they're punk. And I'm like, we just play music together. I, 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 I didn't consider it that. Now, I can't get in the car without putting on the tunes. Okay, uh, I play uh, punk on um, satellite radio. Uh, and uh, nine times out of ten, that's where I get my inspiration. I hear a lick or something like that from another band, and uh, I say, well, I'm going to try something like that, but let's do it our way. Or I just come in with the riff, and they're just banging away, playing stuff. And um, now I absolutely love it. Uh, 